everyone, welcome back. We are transplanting strawberries today. We'll get you some footage of it. We're putting them on black plastic mulch. Six day October and it is hot. So we're, uh, we'll get you some footage of it. Just enjoy the footage. We'll be back. Okay, folks, welcome back. Uh, this is a video on our setting our strawberries. It's a little chopped up. Uh, we started setting the strawberries. It looked like it was going to rain, so we went to the hay field, finished up the hay in that field. Uh, we came back, got some footage of setting the strawberries, and then uh, it did rain on us, so I had to kind of stop and start filming. And filming kind of came less of a priority as we was trying to get the job done. But uh, at the end of this video, I will I'm going to explain to you some of the things why we done what we done on the strawberries. So, uh, enjoy the video. Okay, we got the strawberries set, finally. It has been an adventure. We, uh, we kind of on and off. There's 7,500 strawberry plants here, and they look good this morning. Uh, they were set yesterday, so, uh, but they look real, real good. Now, you'll see that we've got them all on plastic mulch. Uh, they are spaced two feet of, or one foot apart there's a plant every foot two rows on each bed the bed is 30 inches across uh, and about three four inches tall so these are all the same variety they are Chandler is the variety of these strawberries and we put most of them on black plastic and then we put two of them on white on black plastic now the reason we're using white on black is we're trying to delay them. We're trying to slow these strawberries down. Uh, and something's pulled that one up. But uh, probably a deer, if I was guessing. Uh, yeah, something popped that strawberry out of the ground. See that? And right there is the deer track. But this plastic is black on one side, and that's to keep the weeds down. If it was just white, it let enough light penetrate through to get the weeds going. But, so these are all the same variety, and the white is to slow these down. We don't want all these ready to harvest at one time, uh, because we're a small operation, and we don't have the labor resources to harvest them. 
So what we'll do, we'll let these, we will actually run some fertilizer through the drip and kind of push these this fall, get them going. And then about December when it frees up, gets cold, we will put row covers over part of them and leave part of them exposed. And then of course the white plastic. And what we'll try to do by doing that is to stagger out the harvest and we'll see how it goes. But uh, strawberries are an expensive crop to grow. There is probably $3,000, $4,000 already laying there. And that's about a half acre. But, you know, you can do pretty good on them if you get lucky and everything goes right. But uh, that's kind of what we're doing. We will, uh, I will do, be doing quite a bit of videos on these strawberries as we move through them. But, uh, you know, hopefully they'll, uh, they'll do good for us. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll take you along. But uh, once again, we put eight beds, left one blank, eight beds and one blank. That is to spray fungicide insecticides and also access during harvest. So, uh, but anyhow, that's kind of where we're at on that. Uh, Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe. If you have subscribed, we thank you. See a video you like, please let us know, comment, ask a question, whatever. But uh, I've grown strawberries in the past. I enjoy them, but when they're pick when picking times here, it is it is a uh, it is a busy busy time. So, but we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day.